We're now joined here in Charleston live by four members of the Berkeley Post 14 Hornets Legion team as we're down here at this covering the state tournament. We're joined by from right to left Braden Stoudemire, uh, Chase Herndon, Landon Sifford, and Connor Bailey. Uh, we'll start first with uh, you, Braden. How you doing? How you guys doing today? And uh, you had a great start the other day. Unfortunately for you, uh, you just it, the hitting offensively wasn't there, but it was a good overall quality start. Yeah, um, you know, I, I threw well, but overall too many free bases, and the free bases hurt at the end of the day. Those little blue pits got to me, got people in scoring position. Both of them were led by singles to give them their two runs, and the guys weren't very productive on offense. Yeah, but. There's still something I could have done about it, but overall it was a loss. We have to deal with it. We got to grit out the rest of this. And then for you, Chase, yesterday really got the bats going, had a three RBI game as well to help that uh, comeback be launched for the win to survive in advance. Just talk a little bit about that game specifically. Um, that was just an overall team, big team win. Um, I think we did a lot better with taking pitches and just swinging at pitches that we know that we can smash. I think yesterday one of our biggest problems was just walks, and I think if we cut down the walks, we can win this game tonight. And Sifford, for you, behind the plate yesterday, you had a good game, but uh, also hitting, you went two for three, had an RBI, a walk, a run scored. Um, it seemed like yesterday, just as Chase was talking about, up and down the lineup, everybody seemed to uh, get on or at least score a run and, and be productive in the ball game. Yeah, it was a fun game. Um, we went down, we just we kept, like, we kept like yelling at yelling at ourselves, just saying like, "Hey, we need to, we need to win this game." Like, there's no no ifs ands about it. And um, yeah, I mean, it was it was a fun game to grit out, and we just we got that got those two timely hits with uh, Chase and I, and it worked out in our favor, and ended up putting it within one, and then we brought it back in the seventh and did well. So, and then for you, Connor, uh, getting the job done each time up the bat. In that leadoff role with two hits, three walks, uh, just talk about, I guess, your approach up there yesterday. I'll just give, just taking what they're giving me. You know, if they're going to give me a walk, I'll take it all day. But I'm just trying to get on base and do my job. That's about it. This one, just a follow-up, open for any of you guys, whoever wants to pick this up. Uh, each game's been decided by one run each time. Just talk about, I guess, the adversity. Unfortunately, one of them being a loss, but being within in arm's reach in each game, either for a win or for a loss, just how tough that's been this week. You know, you can uh, you can tell our dugout is, like, way more into this than any other regular season game. You know, our guys are up and loud and rowdy, and, and these one-run games, you know, it's it's a tough one to stick out and win because it's all on us. You know, if you're down one, you you have all the pressure. The other team's sitting in the driver's seat, and, you know, yesterday that was a perfect example. Went into the seventh, we're down one, we're all pressured, other teams sitting in the driver's seat, we still made it happen. We scored two in the seventh, went out, shut them down, put up a zero, and won the game. Yeah, I mean, that's the same thing. Like, yeah, I feel like we are all, all locked into, the, like, this tournament and everything. Um, I mean, first inning yesterday, five up, and we were just all loud and rowdy. And then we kind of got kind of got content. And then after that first inning, Lane threw well the first two. And after that, they started chipping away, chipping away, and they ended up having a lead. And then it was just – not good from then on. Yeah, the loss that we had really lit a fire underneath of us, and we just feel like we have the tournament locked up from now on, honestly. And uh, for your team this year, it seems like it, obviously a good mix of guys coming back from last year that went to college and then guys that are seniors that have graduated, and, you know, a few guys on your team that are juniors. How do you think that a bunch of the guys coming back from last year kind of made this team to be – uh, I wouldn't necessarily call it necessarily a team of destiny, but make you guys want to win and win and get to the regional and then hopefully to the national tournament. Yeah, I mean, we've talked about it. I mean, last year we thought it was the best squad we've had, and the year before that was honestly probably an even better squad, but we never really did what we needed to do. Obviously, two years ago it was a, it was a heartbreak situation. I mean, we didn't get to go to states because of some like mess up in the system and everything, but – Last year, I mean, going down, only playing three games, and it was just rough, like, losing that losing that third one, especially losing the opening one as well, which the team we beat in the opening game this year. Um, I mean, we say it, I mean, we were just talking about it in our group chat that we have. I mean, this is the best team we, I feel like we have, and um, we're going to take advantage of that and see if we can do and go all the way. And I think it's uh, also about chemistry, you know. These guys 
I've been around these guys for two years now, you know, high school ball playing against them or coming into the summer playing on this team with them, you know. We, we know each other well. We know what we like to do, and it helps us get the job done at the end of the day. Yeah, it's a lot of our last years, too, so we just want to lay it all on the line, give it our best. So with the state tournament uh, going up against all these different teams around the state, you guys are familiar with your opponents either from high school or even collegiately playing with them, playing against them. Just talk a little bit about, I guess, getting to know some of those guys from different teams as well. If anybody does, it's not <laughs> my bad on that. I wasn't sure. But yeah. I know there's still some from other state tournament-wise or anything like that. But. One of my college coaches is on the Morgantown uh, coaching for them, so I talk with them a bunch about the games and everything. And it's just a little friendly rivalry, really. But... We're just going to lay it all on, on the line, and it's fun to play against them, really. And uh, obviously you guys come through the area state tur or st the area tournament win uh, that against Potomac Valley, but Potomac Valley also uh, getting the win going on to the Final Four today. Uh, how does that think – how do you guys think that represents kind of the whole Eastern Panhandle, like extended, I guess, out to like Hampshire County and, and over there, just because it seems like across the state – uh, in all sports that kind of the Eastern Panhandle is unfairly shown against, you know, the, especially the area we're in right now, or Morgantown, or even in Wheeling. Yeah, uh, I feel like we have a lot of talent up, up in the Eastern Panhandle and obviously a little bit low. Um, yeah, I feel like a lot of, a lot of like, the Metro News and everything is, like, credit, credits, credits the, like, Southern, like, uh, teams and everything, and we don't really get the recognition we deserve. I mean, you guys do a great job, like, during the high school season to actually, like, get us out there and stuff, but um, yeah, really, I mean, I feel like, I mean, um, I mean, we don't really get to show our talents versus the, versus those teams because they don't really want to put up the contract with us to, uh, up for us to go there and they don't want to come back and play us in the Eastern Panhandle. So it's kind of, it's kind of a rough situation to actually get those games in during the season. Tell us a little bit about the team bonding that you guys get to do throughout the uh, weeks or different tournaments throughout the year whenever you're not on the field. We play a lot of cards. Yeah, a lot, a lot of poker. Of, a lot of poker. A lot of blackjack. We've been playing a little PS5 lately this year. Uh, yeah, last year it was a lot of a lot of cards. Oh yeah, golfing. 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 Yeah. Who's the best? Best at what? Golfer? Who's the best either at golf or even just all the different card games that you uh, guys? He have just played? said me for golf, so but I don't know. I'm, I'm I'm all right, but well, cards mean, cards. I mean, Ruest always gets yeah. the best hand yeah. some yeah. Of, most of the time. Heaven rub. Yeah. Riley Bub. Riley Bub. Yeah. And uh, this is not a question about your team specifically, but for the just the Legion organization post-14 to see the success that the juniors had this year to win the state championship and uh, knowing that, you know, at least for you, Lane, I believe you'll be able to come back next year and some of those guys will be your teammates. What does that mean kind of just for post-14 as a whole that the juniors come in this year? This is the first time in a while there's been a team and they come and dominate. I have 24 wins on the season to win the state tournament. Yeah, I mean, I talked with Trip. I was like, uh, why can't we get the get them to be like a B team to our like to us? And he said the state wouldn't allow that. So I mean, I I feel like they could go up and match up to Potomac Valley and come to states with us. I mean, I think they're that good. I mean, it's a lot of young kids that have great talent and everything. I mean, there there's some studs down there. So moving forward for today, you guys are. Now, even though there's still four teams left, technically because of Morgantown uh, hosting regionals, automatically getting to go to regionals, even if they don't win the state championship here with four teams remaining, you guys only need two more wins to make it to that regional, and you guys get to play Morgantown today, a team that hasn't lost. So even more pressure on that and still being an elimination game for you guys with the loss uh what are you guys, I guess, looking at for today's game to get the job done? Um, uh, you can go ahead, Chase. Go ahead. Um, I think if we uh, keep the walks down, just keep putting pressure on Morgantown, just keep the fire in the dugout, I think we can win this game. I really do. I think we got to play aggressive today. We can't play conservative. we got to get up early, show, yep. them, show them that we're going to be aggressive all game and we're going to get to it. So I feel like we need to put the pressure on them and not have the pressure on us today because that's the one thing we've been doing wrong. We've had the pressure on us a lot. So I think we put the pressure on them. They're going to be the ones that are going to crack, and we're going to be just fine. Yeah, honestly, I feel like I mean I know they're two and zero, and they don't really have anything to lose. But I, I think the pressure is all on them. I mean they're the, the only team left that's undefeated, and we're the ones that are pretty much 
wanting to fight back. So I feel like we're gonna have a great game tonight and see what see what we can do. Yeah, just win no matter what. Really, we have nothing else to lose this game. So lay it out all on line. I know you guys. It's the summer. You're used to playing the heat, but this week it just seems like it's been unbearably heat. You it, unbearably hot. Do you think that having the game tonight is gonna help you guys maybe uh, have a little bit more burst in yourselves? Oh yeah, absolutely. Um, I mean, first two games or first three have all been like midday and they've all been like unbearably hot. I mean, I caught two of them and uh, yesterday was probably the worst. It was it was awful out there. I mean, I feel like all of us are excited for the night game and I feel like it's really gonna help us out. Got anything else?